And now, the general weather around Alaska. First up, uh, satellite imagery here. We've got low pressure continuing to move northward here, slowly weakening, pulling up uh, north of the Seward Peninsula now. A lot of cloudiness associated with that here, extending all the way down toward the Yukon Delta coast. Another system, weaker system, pushing up toward the eastern Aleutians Alaska Peninsula. And a circulation out here with some snow showers uh, north of ADAC. And then another system tracking pretty rapidly north northeastward here with a strong southwest jet pushing this uh, system into the southeast coast with more rain and gusty winds there. Precipitation extending westward across the North Gulf Coast into uh, the Susitna Valley here and to a much lesser extent up to the northeast. On the chart, here's that next system pushing up, low pressure center. Uh, still a fair ways uh, to the south here with the front pushing in toward the southeast coast, bringing gale force winds with gusts of 50 miles per hour and rain nearly an inch at Ketchikan today, but lighter amounts elsewhere and uh, some moderate rain at times, Yakutat today, and areas of precipitation back along the North Gulf Coast, mixed precipitation, Manuska Valley in toward the Susitna Valley, actually kind of a narrow band of uh, pretty good snow falling in the Susitna Valley. Last hour, Talkeetna carrying heavy snow. Otherwise, uh, some snow up here with this trough uh, over the Yukon Flats, and then snow and breezy conditions here again from the north coast of the Seward Peninsula, the south coast of Norton Bay, Norton Sound, northward there into the Western Brooks Range. And much drier day here over the southwest interior into Kodiak Island, as well as Cook Inlet. And just some uh, scattered, snow shower, scattered snow shower activity over the Aleutians, particularly near Adak with that uh, trough swinging through the area there. For tonight, that pushes eastward to Atka Island. Otherwise, uh, Snow showers to the east and a little more numerous back to the west there, but the bulk of the moisture up to the north in the Bering Sea. Weak system brings some uh, light rain or snow into the Alaska Peninsula, drying out over the southwest interior here continues. Areas of snow lingering for the Seward Peninsula up into the Selawak Kobuk Valley area, northwest coast, western Arctic coast, as that low continues to slowly pull northward and continue to weaken. And still looking at some snow and snow showers here, Northern Cook Inlet, Turnigan Arm area, Chugach Mountains up in toward the Susitna Valley, maybe the Manuska Valley as well. And this system rolls right up toward Yakutat and the front pushes into the Panhandle for wind and rain tonight in that area. And then for tomorrow, just a weak trough is all that's left of that system, but enough moisture left over to keep uh, areas of rain and showers going over the southeast coast, drying out a dry day for the North Gulf Coast with light winds as well as much of southern Alaska here. This system, again, not all that strong, uh, produces rain, the Alaska Peninsula up to Kodiak Island with snow on the north and west side of that system, say the western Alaska Peninsula on up into northern Bristol Bay, but uh, amounts not too heavy. Light snow, Koyaka, Kobuk Valleys toward Kotzebue up the northwest coast. Low center lingering, periods of light snow or flurries for the western Arctic coast as well as the central coastline there. Not much going on, uh, kind of a very quiet day for the Aleutians tomorrow and between this system up here to the north and the next system down there to the south that pushes up with uh, more wind and precipitation here for the Aleutians coming in with that system. Otherwise, the break shifts up toward the Pribilof Islands, extends into the... Uh, Bristol Bay Area, as well as the western interior, looks pretty dry with just some variable clouds. Same pattern in the northern interior. Still looking at some snow showers here over south central Alaska, mostly northern Cook Inlet, Susitna Valley, down into Bristol Bay, or I'm sorry, down into Prince William Sound in the uh, Kenai Peninsula there. Should be dry day for Kodiak Island with maybe a few sun breaks. And another system that uh, actually this one here tracks pretty rapidly to the east moves into the central coast of the Panhandle for gale force winds there on the south coast developing during the day as well as uh, safer Clarence Strait as well with uh, rain changing to uh, mixed precipitation around Juneau and then probably be in the form of snow up the Klondike Highway, Haines to Skagway. And for the lows tonight uh, in the 30s and lower 40s for the southeast coast, uh, teens and 20s, southern Alaska, south of the Alaska Range, but to the west of the mountains and also to the north, Temperatures running 5 to 10 for the lows, all the way up to the north slope in the Arctic coast, as well as all the way out to the southwest coast. Lower 20s for the Pribilofs, and mid-20s, Adak and Atka, upper 20s 
to lower 30s, or 25 to 30 for the Eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula. Highs for tomorrow in the 30s out this way, right around uh, 31 for St. Paul and in the interior. A little cooler for the highs, upper 20s here for South Central Alaska. In the central interior, highs mostly in the teens, all the way up to the Arctic coast. Highs tomorrow, 40s for the southeast coast. And for the lows on Wednesday morning, below zero, kind of reappearing here with colder air coming in. We've got uh, 13 below there, forecast for McGrath, Nikolai, <clears throat> anywhere around 10 below for the Tanana Valley, 15 to 25 below for the Brooks Range. Highs, a little below zero there for uh, Anatovic and uh, over toward Arctic Valley with single numbers for the uh, Arctic coast into the southwest interior. 15 to 25 for the highs for the southwest coast, lower 20 St. Lawrence Island. Highs mid-30s northern Panhandle to lower 40s.